Whether you love Wendy's chili or not, there's one key ingredient which gives it its unique flavor, and it's probably not what you think it is. At first glance, Wendy's may not stand out among other fast food chains in terms of menu offerings. Featuring classic American fast food staples like fresh, never-frozen burgers, fried chicken, and breakfast sandwiches. Even its well-known four-for-four-dollars menu is often compared to other chains' value specials. And its famous Frosty isn't so different from many other available chocolate shakes. But there's one item that sets Wendy's apart. Their chili. An integral menu item since the chain's inception, chili was one of only five menu items Wendy's offered during its early days. Now, Wendy's hearty, comforting chili has quite the impassioned support base on social media. According to Wendy's itself, in 2020, it served over 83 million helpings of chili across the United States. So what's the secret ingredient that keeps people coming back? And some chili, a big steaming bowl. Yes, chili would be perfect today. It's cold out there. Along with red and pink kidney beans, Wendy's chili is filled with onion, celery, green peppers, tomato, and ground beef. Though it's a relatively simple recipe, there's another common ingredient in the franchise's chili that you may not associate with a heaping bowl of the stuff. According to the official Wendy's website, alongside other seasonings like salt and dried chilies, Wendy's adds sugar to its chili sauce seasoning. Although sugar and chili sounds like an uncommon pairing, according to Cook's Illustrated, sugar adds another layer of flavor to meat dishes, especially because it helps brown the protein for a caramelized finish. When it comes to chili, sugar confronts the natural acidity in tomatoes, giving it a more balanced taste, just like when you add sugar to homemade tomato sauce. If you decide to make a copycat Wendy's chili recipe, then use some inspiration from the chain sugar hack and try adding butter for an even richer flavor. Yes, while sugar might seem like a strange addition, you might also be surprised to hear that butter can unite the many flavors found in chili. Butter is a natural emulsifier that keeps ingredients from separating. Common ingredients in chili like oil, tomato juice, and of course, sugar, are equally balanced and blended. According to Taste of Home, butter, like sugar, also helps cut the acidic taste of tomatoes, onions, and peppers, giving you a smooth, accessible flavor. What's more, high-fat ingredients like butter can help ease the burn of spicy foods like chili. Not to mention that butter adds a smooth, creamy texture to just about anything. Here's my final word on the subject. You can never have too much butter. While sugar and butter together make for a well-balanced chili, these ingredients aren't always the best option for some chili aficionados. Whether you avoid dairy products, have health concerns that limit your intake of butter and sugar, or simply want to cut them out of your diet, there are ways to mimic the magic of butter and sugar in a homemade Wendy-style chili. A bowl of chili? Yes! Yes! Let me get my boots, we'll go to Wendy's. Claire, I'm on break! When you're craving Wendy's chili but eating out isn't an option, bust out your largest stew pot and get to work on a DIY copycat recipe, which allows you to toss out all the preservatives. We like to substitute pinto beans for pink kidney beans, then brown beef or turkey, combine the necessary ingredients, and simmer the chili for three hours for an irresistible dish. Finally, top the finished dish with shredded cheese and green onions. If you have dietary restrictions, consider using a few clever butter and sugar substitutes to maintain a well-balanced flavor profile. For butter replacements, vegans can use plant-based butter like Earth Balance's Buttery Spread or Country Crocs plant butter with avocado oil. Protein-rich Greek yogurt can also cut acidity while simultaneously counteracting the spice of the chili. You can also lower your sugar intake by replacing it with low-glycemic sweeteners like xylitol, monk fruit, or stevia. More common alternatives include maple syrup or honey. However you make it, remember, a great chili is all about balance. 